assuming that you have your document open, we're going to cover the basics of the Photoshop interface. Now ignore what's going on over here to the right because yours may or may not be laid out exactly the same. It is dependent on the resolution of your monitor, of your screen. So your panels on the right may be in a slightly different order and we're going to adjust those in an upcoming video anyways. Nevertheless, I want to cover the basic layout, the basic interface of Photoshop. And we have a few things, and this is assuming that you're on a Mac, although on a Windows it's, you know, 90 something percent the same. First things first is you have your document layout, right? That's this work area right here. You have your document, um, and then you have this pasteboard out here. And then this is the name of the document that I currently have open from the previous tutorial. And it's open in this tab. I can have multiple documents. There'd be multiple tabs. And right now, in order for it to fit full, full height or full size onto my screen, it is at zoomed at 33%. Right above this is your options bar. That's your options bar. And it's contextual. That means that it changes depending on which tool you have selected. So what are tools? That's over here on the left, right? Right here is the move tool. And you'll see these options up here, right? Let me select another tool, just another tool. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna select brush tool. All right, and the brush tool has a different set of options. So this options bar again changes based on the tool you have active. So if you're following along with the tutorial, and you don't see the options you're supposed to, you most likely have the wrong tool selected. Also, you notice when I roll over, there's this pop-out window that comes up. We're gonna turn that off, that's new, and it's just annoying, but we'll turn that off in a future tutorial. Um, how are these tools arranged? They're actually arranged um, in a very specific manner. These first set of tools right here are all selection tools, they're all tools used to make selections which is the bread and butter of Photoshop then you get down into these touch up and um, drawing tools right lots of that is stuff related to photos right you hear things Photoshop the model was Photoshop you touch up portraits stuff like that these are the touch up or kind of photo mostly photo specific stuff as we get down here some of these, if you've used Illustrator before, will look familiar. These are your vector-based tools, right? So you have the pen tool, type tool, direct selection, and your shapes. Very similar to if you've worked in um, Adobe Illustrator. And lastly, some kind of navigation tools, which will cover zooming in and being able to move the workspace with the hand tool. Um, one difference, if you've used Illustrator in the past, there is no fill and stroke. So you do see two kind of color palette boxes here. That is your foreground color and your background color. We'll talk about those as we work on projects, but they are not fill and stroke. They are foreground and background, which is different. So we have our tools. They're grouped in a very specific manner. We have our work area here, our options bar on the top, and then over here you have panels, okay? You find all the panels up here under window right so if there's any panels here that you see whenever you're working on anything that you need that aren't there they will be under the window menu um, again yours may or may not be laid out like this we're going to create a new workspace in the next video but in the meantime just understand that these are panels that you use that have either information or that you use to um, organize or do different things to within Photoshop. We don't need all these. We don't want to waste all this space on the right. So we are going to fix them. Layers panel here is the most important. So we're really going to highlight that when we rearrange. And of course, there is the menu options, right? So you have your main menu up here. If you're working on Windows, this menu is going to be attached to the application frame, but on Mac OS it's always at the top and obviously when you're doing things with the file opening saving closing printing stuff of that nature it's going to be under file when you're editing 
either things you've created or settings for the document or settings for Photoshop it's right here right so you copy and paste you can see some things we'll learn about down here and then down in this region is settings and profiles for Photoshop um, and settings for the layout shortcuts menus and toolbars if you're doing something with the image it's here layers type you get the idea you can look through they make sense based on what they're titled and we'll go over several of them as we move through the course all I want you to understand basic interface and hopefully you get an idea of the layout it's intro and as we work on projects the interface will become more clear and make more sense